Hello and welcome back to another day in the arena. It's me, it's CGB, and today in the arena we're going to play around on ladder a little bit. I haven't done much with ladder, so I've got a long ways to go. I'm going to try out this Golgari deck. That's not the word. I'm going to try out this Gruul deck. It has the Explorer package that you often see in Golgari with Branchwalker and Jade Light Ranger, but those also help the deck hit its land drops so that it can play powerful spells like Rekindling Phoenix, Nullhide, Ferox, and Skargan Hellkite on curve. I have one fun of Banefire for the big epic out of nowhere victory against the Teferi decks, as well as cards that give them a hard time like Spellbreaker. Phoenix, Nullhide, and Hellkite. So I hope I'll be okay against Teferi, and I hope that Wild Growth Walker along with Cheap Removal will be good against Red. I believe if I have good matchups against both of those, I can have a pretty good run. So that's what we're going to go try to put to the test. My mana base has some Gruul Guild Gates, just because I really do need double red and double green consistently. Maybe those shouldn't be there. Maybe they should just be basic lands. However, I feel a little better knowing that I might have some options since I won't always have a turn one play, usually I won't, and a turn two play may not always happen. So uh, with that in mind, I think I'm looking forward to playing some games and doing some gruel smashing. Let's go do it. Okay, we have an early removal spell and a nifty bunch of creatures. So this looks like a keepable. Our sand whale friend, Hello, has scryed to the bottom, after a mulligan to six. Here is my stomping ground. And I suppose we'll open up on the wild growth walker. The opponent opening up with some teamer mana. Is this a teamer reclamation over the top combo type deck? Time will tell. Let's try out this branch walker. The Banefire. I want that with a lot more mana, but still, putting up a lot of pressure and then having uncounterable burn? Hmm. I think it's better than a random card off the top. So, let's send in the Wild Growth Walker. Our opponent's done nothing so far. Chasme, wondering what's about to happen. Wilderness Reclamation, Frilled Mystic type stuff. There's the Reclamation. So let's make the opponent deal. And they take that damage. So we could go for Rekindling Phoenix. Our opponent might have... Hmm. Let's see, if I put them at 10 and then untap and play a Hellkite, that leaves them at 1? That's too bad. So I feel like I have to go for the Phoenix, even though there might be a Frilled Mystic or a Counter. Chemistry's Insight's probably the best thing we could have hoped to run into. Although it's still not good to see the opponent get that far ahead on cards and now get to do all this big mana stuff. Gift of Paradise, here we go. It's about to get really tricky up in here. Let's see what they do with the extra mana. Right. They might have fogs, which is also frustrating. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We can't kill them this turn. We also can't like lightning strike and then kill them the next turn. So before the fogs come in, I think I just have to try to hit them as hard as I can. Seems like a tiny little dragon compared to some of the other animations. Is that just me? Here's an opt. These decks might run four root snares, but that's a lot less fogs than other decks. Uh, other turbo fog type lists that we've seen in the past. Keeps on top, it better be a fog. Or they had the fog the whole time, we'll see. Yep, I bet they had that the whole time, to be honest. Now we'll see what all they can do. Okay, double reclamation. Let's see the payoff. 
Just waiting to see what they tap their mana for. I think we're still one life point shy of killing them if they explosion and put all the mana into it and miss on a fog. Hmm. Awkward. Well, they only have one timeout. Let's see if they can get through this or not. They take out the Phoenix. Weird. That comes back hasty. So, is this a cannonade? That's an oops. They did it with the trigger on the stack and they scooped. <laughs> oh god, am I going to keep this game? They scooped because they cast the cannonade with the trigger on the stack before the O1 was created. Because of that, the phoenix would come back. The opponent would take 8, 10, and Banefire is 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, but with Lightning Strike it's 16, so they were dead because of that misplay. Early removal spell and some critters. Let's try it. We have to go with the Gill Gate on one. So we might have to shock ourselves later, but I think that's okay. Mono Red. Everyone's favorite. Let's run out the walker and make the opponent have the right answer at the right time. This is tough because blocking um, doesn't play around shock, but not blocking doesn't play around skewer. So I'll err on the side of blocking. Firebrand? Oh, well, Firebrand can activate a skewer. Double Firebrand. Are you going to two for one away that walker? Wow. I guess I'm okay with that. Do what you gotta do. Let's pay the two life and hit up the Spellbreaker. Big beefy. See if we can create another two for one opportunity by putting a big wall in front of our opponent. There's their Steamkin, which is what I wanted to save the Lightning Strike for. So let's go ahead and get that dead. And I'm just going to keep the Spellbreaker back to shut off Spectacle. And that's it for the turn. Well, let's go for the Jade Light Ranger. I bet this will draw some kind of removal spell as well. But if we hit the lands, we should be able to overpower the red deck quickly. There's the Shock. There's the land. So, Guildgate for this turn, Craig for next turn. And Spellbreaker can still hang out until we have a bigger wall of beef on the battlefield. Opponent says go again. So, Nullhide Ferox or the Hellkite? I'd say the Hellkite's more likely to get beat up. Let's try attacking first before we show our opponent the Ferox. Since I don't know how the red deck is supposed to get through or around the Ferox, I don't think they can remove it. It's it's a big ask. It's a big, big ask. It's a beefy boy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I guess the answer is they can't get through the Ferox. Walker, Jade Light Ranger, Hellkite. Why not? On the draw, though, it's not good. On the draw is not good, but what is this? Flower? Green-white tokens, perhaps? All right, well, we have a sick curve. Wild Growth, Jade Light, Phoenix, Hellkite. Should be able to overpower most things. We'll see how amazing the draw is for the Wu-Tang Clan over here. Yeah, they're feeling it. So it looks like we're both going to have really strong draws. Who will win? I believe the play is the Jade Light. I don't think I want to stop for another Walker right now because I want to keep the Phoenix coming and the Hellkite. I think that's where I need to be. So if we hold back, I guess the Jade Light can trade here. These can't trade, so I may as well swing in. I'd happily trade my Jade Light for something of the opponents. That would make me very happy at this phase. I think it's much more likely the opponent plays something like a Loxodon. Oh boy. It's a lot of bodies. That's a lot of beef. And we aren't done. Our opponent not waiting for the last land for Flourish, or the next two lands for Flourish, might mean they have a Tristani, might also mean they have another Flourish ready to go. Either way, that's very bad. 
let's go ahead and do we start the rekindle or do do we evolve these more I feel like I've got to get the Phoenix going I have to start hitting the opponent so I'm going to play the rekindling Phoenix and let's see what the opponent's got the formation dear god all right so you can be here you should absorb as much damage as possible and so should you and that's the way it has to be fortunately we still have a lot of life total to go despite the formation we may have taken our opponent's best shot i guess we'll see oh there's still another card dear god is that an elephant Okay, Tribunal. Alright, you got it. Phoenix back. So now what? We're at 15. Right now we have a good block here. And they take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 15, 19. If we play a Hellkite and nothing changes, we have two good blocks and we take 9... 15, so that's lethal. So we shouldn't do that. Uh, we should play another Wild Growth Walker and amp it up again. I needed a non-land there really badly. That actually stings a lot. But I guess we'll sit back and let the opponent do their thing. Wow. Okay. We were not meant to succeed here. We were meant to we were meant to die. One, two, three, four, five, ten, fifteen. So that doesn't work. One, two, three, four, five, ten, eight, nope. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I guess that works. So is there any better way to do this? Don't think so. I can't take anything out or I die. So that's the way it has to be. See, when I play this deck, I never draw this way, to be honest. It's so frustrating. It's so frustrating to watch. This was a perfectly good curve that had no chance in hell. <laughs> but I guess that's one of the reasons Gruul may not be a top tier deck. Let's get a counter on this baby and scoop it up as we're a time walk away from winning. Well, we can kill something, kill something, Ferox. If we're up against red, which is very popular, the hand is good. If we're up against control, the hand is terrible. If we're up against white, the hand is probably not very good. If we're up against blue, the hand is good. I think that's enough of the major matchups to make me keep it. But welcome to best of one, my friends. Where your decisions can just be wrong. And you have to live with it. Of course, our opponent could turn to Burglar Rad and we just smash. Wow. I guess I'll lead on the Gruel Guildgate. Top decking another land there is like salt in the wound of I have no idea what's going on. And maybe our opponent on Jeskai Control or Boros Angels taking a slow start to the game. Jade Light Ranger off the top is alright. Hopefully it will help smooth this ugly draw out a bit. We're in a lot of trouble if it's Angels though. They're just going to fly over us and be brutal. So do we shock down this knight? I feel like we may as well, or else we'll just find we'll just fall way behind on tempo. On the other hand, I could have saved the shock plus lightning strike for something like an Aurelia, Exemplar of Justice. Hmm. Hmm. I feel like I need like Skargan Hellkite or something if I'm up against angels. Which is what this feels like. I'm going to go library graveyard because I want the four of three. But I want to draw Dragons and Phoenix. Those are the cards I think I need for the matchup. There's a Resplendo. Hmm. Our opponent might have a Lyra here. I think I need to shoot down this Angel. So I'll play the Branchy and try to keep scrying into something good. I mean, it's something I can double spell with, but... Yeah, it keeps me going through my deck. I'll try it. Let's send the Jade Light. 
See if the opponent wants to trade with anything. I plan to trade the Branch Walker for the Knight. And I plan to Lightning Strike the Resplendo. Alright, no Lyra. That's good news. Zap. So, for your next trick... Yep. That's obnoxious. Can I bluff an attack, though? I feel like I can. Put on the full control. I'm going to try the next level attacking here. And the opponent's going to take it because they don't want to give up their phoenix. So, that's how you sneak four damage, my friends. Doesn't... It only works against good opponents. <laughs> I, I can tell you, when... If I bluff too much against, like, people playing the starter piles, I get in trouble. They always call the bluff. But here we stole four damage. Opponent reading up on the 6-6 six, six Ferox. Coiling the Ranger. And not... Oh, yep, choosing to race. So that's the other plus side of the bluff last turn, is the opponent might now think we have a way to kill the Phoenix, so they're not willing to block anyway. Fortunately for them, they have a Tithe Taker, which is pretty frustrating as well. And we need to basically find our way with these Branch Walkers to another good card. I guess Jade Light can help me do it, but how much time do I really have? I feel like I want to play the other Branch Walker, so I'm going to graveyard this and keep digging for a Rekindling Phoenix, a Banefire, or a Skargan Hellkite. Nothing else is very acceptable at this stage. Now, we still want our opponent to believe this last card is a way that I can deal damage to the Phoenix, like a shock. So we're going to hang on to it. We sold the bluff earlier. The opponent might be over it by now, but they might not. We do have a lethal board if the opponent overcommits, and we draw, say, a removal spell. So let's see what else they have to play. It must be there must be a decent follow-up. Oh, we're racing. Does the opponent have another banefire in hand? That's so gutsy. Like, you gotta admire the gutsy. Let's see if they have another one. Unreal. Unbelievable. That was a tough one. I don't know how you get away with that many Bane Fires, but I know I usually run one in the deck. Maybe they only run two and drew them both. Well, this hand is completely unkeepable. This hand is better, but slow. We'll see what we can draw. I guess keeping the land is pretty much a, necess a necessity here. Our opponent hit us with the hello, so I'll send it back, although... It's all, com all competition in ranked ladder. Rawr. Spiky, spiky. Black, white, something. I think we'll just play this as a 3-3 with hexproof and get some punches in. See if we can do some gruel smashing for a change. And Esper it is. Cast down. Has to play it on... You gotta play it on your turn, though. Which lets me play... Which is better? I think getting the Phoenix on the board is better because of Kai's Wrath. One of the only clean answers they have is if they run a Vraska's Contempt or two after the Phoenix resolves. And they want to Contempt it now. Or I get to Lightning Strike it to save it, potentially. Okay, Kaya is also really good against the Phoenix, which is unfortunate. But we get to attack Kaya down, so that's the good news. We can't let it stay on the battlefield, or it can eat the Phoenix while the Phoenix is in the graveyard. Am I huh. 
Opponent gives that an oops. I wonder if that's their oops or my oops. We will see. Feels like the right play to me. Also, instead of smashing Nullhide, I'm just going to hang on to it for a minute. I have a funny feeling about what my opponent might try to set up on me. Let's fire off this shock. Damage? Sweet. Then I think I'm just going to hang out. Insight, of course. So what do you think? Wrath time? Opponent surely wants to set up a wrath and then another way to kill the phoenix, of course. Here's thought erasure. That's what I was thinking. That is what I was thinking about, you guys. That is what I was thinking about. Free null hide ferox. Free null hide ferox win. I didn't let you in on the plan because it sounded too wishful and too stupid, but it worked. So I was trying to hold the Ferox, empty my hand, and get Thought Erasured. And I can't believe it played out that way, but there you go. <laughs> we go first, and our hand is a complete catastrophe. <laughs> I'm trying it. I'm trying it. I'm at the point where, like, good, honest mulligan decisions... They just don't matter to me anymore. All right, so there you go. Resembling skeleton. Apparently our opponent is also at a point where nothing matters to them anymore. Uh, let's see. The only way I get punished really bad is if I reveal the only other Gruel Guild Gate in my deck. So I'm going to hold the shock up for Judith is what I'm thinking I'm going to run into and play this branchy. Now that really sells that I have a shock, but there you go. And there you go. See? See, I know what's up. No blocks, and we will just zap that away. I guess I should have blocked first, right? Because now the Judith can kill the branch walker and I would have taken no damage. Oh well. Ah uh, no, then they just shoot my face. It's exactly the same. The same thing would have happened. Not a misplay. Outcome would have been the same because the opponent uh, would have just done the damage to my face instead. But at least, no, then the skeleton would have been dead. They'd have had to pay to get back someday. Still a misplay. I'll figure it out eventually, don't worry. Spawn of mayhem, well. Let's dial up the pressure will take the block so they have something to deal with my egg but I have another and really playing like running out Phoenix on time on a reasonable board is really what this deck is all about ooh they didn't have a way to kill the token that's weird so I can't block there or the Judith trigger would kill my other egg Let me see what I reveal. Yeah, we'll graveyard that. Looking for another land. Say go. Fireblade Artist. The opponent's certainly putting together a force down here. Hmm. Let me see where they put this Judith damage. Let me see where they target. I have a block on the reassembling skeleton if they don't target the branch walker that I won't regret, but Fireblade Artist is probably the most threatening thing. That said, I just have lethal to a top deck one damage, but if I keep my branch walker alive and just take this damage, then I can top deck a Shock or any Lightning Strike or the Banefire or a Gruel Spellbreaker. So it gives me a lot more lethal draws. So I'm just going to take the damage. And that will do. Smash, smash. Well, 
After about an hour of playing this deck, I'm right where I started. Uh, one loss, one win, one loss, one win. I'm sure I'll cut from this video the games that were basically I missed my third land drop or things of that nature. Um, plenty of turn two curious obsession can't beat that. Feels like it happened this hour, so I doubt you will need to see too many of those games. But, eh, Gruel doesn't get a very passing grade from me, I gotta say. Not a deck I think I could stand laddering with. <laughs> I'm a little exhausted with it already. There's probably better builds out there. I hope the Explore package would be good against Red. But the honest truth is that the Explore package versus Red was a lot harder to piece together because we don't have cards like Find Finality to uh, get the Wild Growth Walker that dies back and do things like that. So I don't think it was worth it. Um, I hope you enjoy this kind of... I don't know, let me know in comments what you think of this way of looking at decks and testing them and trying them on the ladder, as opposed to me taking a deck that has already won some games and saying, hey, here's a deck, it's finished. This is me taking a deck and saying, I wonder if there's something here and checking it out and finding out for myself in front of all you, all of you and with you. Um, I will tell you right now, those of you leaving comments of like, that deck sucks, you should play this instead. I haven't played that much with Gruel, and I haven't played with this version. Part of it is new experiences, and nobody enjoys those comments at all. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. If you are watching this and it is not yet March 18th, head over to FlipSideGaming.com where you can pre-order War of the Spark, and you can pre-order Modern Horizons, and because of their St. Patrick's Day sale, if you use the promo code CGB before March 18th, 18th is over at Eastern Standard Time. You get 15% off your order instead of the usual 10%. So please check out flipsidegaming.com. Let me know what you think of this video in this format of testing and trying decks and concepts in the latter environment. And as always, thank you for watching this video. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel or leave a comment. You can also support the channel on Patreon for special perks. Links are in the description. Our sponsors are hauntedflower.com and flipsidegaming.com. Haunted Flower sells officially licensed MTG apparel and accessories, and Flipside Gaming sells MTG cards and supplies. You can save 10% on either site with the promo code CGB, and it supports the channel at the same time. See you next time for another day in the arena. For now, it's me, it's CGB, signing out.